shouldn't be working for a company that stinks. Because you know that I will tell them at Festivus, as I did years ago. Hello there. Happy Festivus. That's right. You're just in time. We're celebrating Festivus again. I haven't celebrated Festivus in many years. What is Festivus, you say? Well, your friend George was very little when we decided to start celebrating Festivus. I was going to get him a doll. And I reached out for the doll. But so did another man. And I knew there had to be another way. And the doll was destroyed. But out of that, Festivus was born. That's right. What is Festivus? It's a non-commercial alternative to all the traditional holidays. This is our tradition. We don't have a tree, we have a pole. You see the pole right there? No decoration required. Just need a nice little shiny pole in the corner of the room. That's right. Uh-huh. So, we have a few traditions here. There's no gift giving. Remember, this is the alternative to commercialized holidays. Every December 23rd, we get together, have a nice feast, and be festive. It's the name Festivus. And we have a couple traditions. First, we saw with the airing of grievances. We take turns around the table and we tell everybody at the table how they all disappointed you throughout the year. That's right. You just let it all out. I guess you can say it's kind of like a comedy central roast, but it's simpler than that. You don't necessarily try and be funny. You just vent in front of everyone. Judgment-free. Well, for the most part. But then after that, we get to the feats of strength. Festivus does not end until you pin me down. Context. That's right. You fight me. Once you nail me to the floor and you win, Festivus is over. But until then, just keep going, one victim after another. That's right. Usually it's my boy George. But since you're a newcomer, you may be so lucky as to go before him. That's right. You look like you could take me better than George can. So you may be doing him a favor. But I'm only allowing this favor to be possible if he behaves himself. Which, it's George. He won't behave himself. It's not in his nature. I've never seen him behave himself in my entire life. Only when I imagined, before he was born, having a son that would behave himself. But no. Lo and behold, he is exactly what I feared. Completely neurotic, completely self-centered, and completely inadequate. Well, that's my son. Not much I could do about it, except for beat him in feats of strength, which I will use as a punishment if he doesn't behave. But anyway, come on in and meet everybody. Okay, okay, settle down everybody, shut up. Because the traditions of Festivus are about to begin. Starting with the airing of grievances. I got a lot of problems with you people. And now, you're going to hear about them. First, you. Yes, you. The one looking me in the eye. You've been 
going around and leaving nasty comments on YouTube videos. Comments that you yourself don't even believe. What, do you have no life or something? Do you have a job? Do you have any friends? No? No? Do you have a therapist? No. Maybe, maybe start there. Maybe start with a therapist. I've been seeing a therapist myself, and it's why I've been able to talk very quietly as a late. I don't even need to say serenity now anymore. Serenity now. Yeah. What motivated me? Well, George had no friend. Shut up, George. You'll get your turn. George had a friend. George. He had a friend. George. I'm telling you. You'll do feats of strength first if you keep that up. George had a friend who was in a mental institution. And he got so, so out of whack. And according to him, it was serenity now that put him there. Serenity now. Insanity later. That's right. So, before it got out of hand, I decided to see a therapist. Have a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one every week. Instead of dedicating my entire life to it. Because I got things to do. You know. And she made me be able to regulate my emotions a lot more. George, George, I am regulating my emotions. I'm choosing to react to you properly, if you don't shut up. Anyway, sorry about that, everybody. You know how George is. Lost my train of thought. But anyway, be cool with your comments. Roast people if you want to, but actually mean it to a degree. But come from a place of respect. You know, have fun with each other. It's not that hard. Alright. Next one. I have you, George. You would never shut up when I'm talking. You would never shut up when I'm talking. You complain constantly. You can't hold a job to save your life. What was your last job? Working for a toy company where the owner didn't give a crap. I could just tell that he didn't give a crap. You deserve better than that. You shouldn't be working for a company that stinks. Because you know that I will tell him at Festivus, as I did years ago. I'm glad you finally have that job. But, my God, what were you thinking? And now it's time to roast the newcomer, you. You look weird with that whack-ass beard. All scraggly. No one knows what you look like under that thing anymore. It's been far too long. Far too long. You're a middle-aged man playing video games on the internet. You're completely disorganized. You can't keep a schedule to save your life. You better start doing that in 2024. I know you told me that you have a new schedule that is more realistic. But if you don't stick to it, then you're going to be first in the feats of strength next year. Understand? Good. Good. Speaking of feats of strength, it's time. George. George, I told you that you would be first in the feats of strength if you didn't shut up, and you didn't shut up. So come up. Fight your father. Fight your father. Let's do it. Serenity now. Oh, shit.